Have you ever had to do the time-consuming task of processing loads of photos and it, you felt like it's taking forever and eating up too much of your day? Well, I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop's Automate to process thousands of photos in a fraction of the time. So keep watching. Hey guys, Chris James here, welcome back to another video. Recently I've been processing tons of photos for print work and I've been doing it in opening each individual one, messing around with the settings, changing and adjusting the images and then saving them. And that's been taking me forever. I mean, I don't even know where my day has gone when I'm, I've been doing it because the hours just seem to fly by. And it, Basically, a few years ago, I know Photoshop introduced this automate function. Now, I tried it a few years ago and it just didn't work. For whatever reason, there was a glitch or it just didn't work for me. So I put it to bed and hence why I've been doing each individual photos separately, saving them. And like I said, it's taking too much of my time up. So I thought I'd revisit it again. Now with Photoshop CC, the actual tool works, or I found it works brilliantly for speeding up my workflow. So a lot of the time I'm having to process photos from RGB to CMYK. I'm also having to change the resolution from 72 pixels to 300 pixels. And basically they're the standard settings that I need for when I'm doing my work. And Doing them is just a laborious, boring task if you're having to open each individual one and just do the same repetitive task. So I'm going to show you today how you can use the automate function to basically batch edit tons of your photos all in one go so that it can basically release your time up to concentrate on more interesting things like actually editing the photos and not the boring task of just changing the pixels, the resolution or the colour mode to RGB to CMYK. So I'm going to switch to the Mac now and we'll get started and I'll show you how super easy it can be. So the first thing you want to do is open up Photoshop CC and the next thing we need to do is open up one of our images that we're looking at editing. I'll just pick the top one. So now I've got this image here, basically we need to record the steps and the process for what we want to do ready for when we want to batch edit all our photos. And to do that, we need to come over to the right hand side and you'll see this little play icon. You just need to click that and this will bring up tons of default actions that are built in Photoshop. So like you say, you can add loads of images effects, so like light rain, sepia toning, uh, and you can probably download quite a lot of, of these as well on the internet. Uh, but today we're gonna record our own. Now to record our own, we just need to click over this hamburger icon in the right of the pullout and go down to new action and you'll find this box comes up i'm just going to um, label it photo process now there are these other kind of drop downs this set just means which folder you want to put it in the function key you can obviously assign shortcuts to certain tasks but i leave them alone really i don't really touch much of this and again you can change the colour of it but it's not really relevant uh, and then once you're happy with all that you just need to click record and now while it's recording we're going to go through the steps of what I want to do across all these images so the first thing I want to do is go to image mode and I want to change it to CMYK
And the next step is to go to image again, but down to image size. And I'm going to change it to 20 and 300 pixels. So now it's done that. And as you can see, each time we do a different step, it's adding it to this recorded function. Um, when I've done this in the past, I have forgotten to do this next step, which is basically to save it. So you just want to save the image and that'll just, make, that'll just basically save it. So when you come to run it all, it'll do that for all your images. And I've found in the past that sometimes I've gone recorded it all, gone to my folder, set it all up, but it's run through the process but not saved anything. So then I was like, what's happened? How do I do it? And obviously the fix was I just needed to save it. So now we've done all that, all we need to do now is click stop and that will just basically end the recording means that anything else we do now won't be inputted into this. And now we can close this image down and all we need to do now to run it across all the images that we've got, we need to go down to file, automate, batch and you'll come up. it will come up with this sort of batch um, slider if you will, I'm not too sure what you call these kind of pop-ups, uh, yeah batch pop-up uh, and you've got a few settings here so obviously this is where it's where you're getting your action from, uh, ours was saved to the default action and obviously the actions photo process, we just need to choose the folder that we want, so mine's monkey forest Obviously I leave all these alone, I don't really touch anything. It's cool that it's got this stop for errors which means if for whatever reason it can't carry out the task it'll stop the process and let you know or you can obviously just log the errors. <clears throat> and then the destination, I always click it to save and close because I've already separated my full, uh, my images into a separate folder I don't need to add them to like a different folder I don't need to add them anywhere else so I can just save and close but if these are your original images you can click folder and choose a folder where you want them saving to and that's pretty much it once I click OK it'll run through all the steps um, I'll just show you now so I've clicked OK and obviously it'll start flashing up with all the images and this will just take a while um, so I'll probably speed up through this but like I said you can use, you can do this for anything so you can if you want to do black and white or different sort of things you can just record your functions and away you go you can batch edit tons of photos using this automate function so I'll let it do its process and then we'll get back to the video So there you go, it's done it all now, it's finished the process. So now what we should find is if I go to File, Open, I go into, back into my folder, these all should be resized, resolution and colour space and colour mode changed to what we set out in the programme. So obviously on this first image, you can see it's changed the dimensions that's in pixels but it is 20 centimeters resolution 300 and the color space is CMYK so now I'll just go through a couple just so you can see and as you can see as I'm flicking through it all this is remaining the same which means that the process is done um, and there you go that's how easy it is to 
automate your fun automate um batch editing so you can basically run your own actions and change tons of photos in a fraction of the time so there you go I hope you found value from this tutorial. I know I've gone into it and just changed the colour mode, the sizes and resolution, but if you know you're going to have to do a certain task on all your photos, then this batch editing using the automate function is going to speed up all your workflow. You'll be able to get through it twice as fast and concentrate on basically the more interesting things about photo editing. So. I hope you've liked the video. If you have, let me know below. If you didn't like it, still let me know below or give me a thumbs down because I'm happy to take on any of your feedback. Basically because I want to improve on these videos and I basically want to give better value to anyone who's wanting to learn graphic design or is a graphic designer or at college. Uh, I want these videos to be basically purposeful to you. So I'm going to leave it there. Tune in for the next one and I'll see you.